31st. Before the bench today on Studio B, some call it Lacey's Law, Congress passing this bill adding extra penalties against anyone who attacks a pregnant woman. It actually allows prosecutors con to consider the attack as two separate offenses, one against the woman and one against the child which has not yet been born. The bill getting praised by pro-life supporters, of course, who consider a fetus a living person, while raising concern among abortion rights groups for the protection the bill gives to unborn babies. But will the legislation have any effect, practical effect, on the debate over abortion? With us now in Studio B, the man who has the bench, Judge Andrew Napolitano. How you doing? Good. How are you, Shep? Th this, this has wording in there that talks specifically about this as federal crimes. Yes. And it also is, it points out that this does not, that abortion is not an issue here, that it does not affect abortion. But practically speaking. Well, it will certainly affect the debate on abortion. The real question is, will it affect the court's view of abortion? The, the, let me set up the statute for you. If, let's say, a female FBI agent is involved in some type of an altercation, she's fine. She doesn't even know she's pregnant. She miscarries a few days later. Death of the fetus. The bank robbers who struck her, or whatever the cause of it, uh, of the miscarriage was, can be charged with murder of the fetus. Under they, this statute? Under this statute. They can't receive the death penalty, but they can be charged with murder of the fetus. Now, the pro-abortion forces are saying there is an exception in this statute for abortion. That is, a doctor can't be charged with murder for the death of a fetus that the doctor lawfully aborts. But there's a definition in this statute that defines the fetus in the womb as a living human being. That's what's going to cause the uh, debate over abortion. That's a first. Since. Absolutely. That's the first time after many fits and starts that the Congress has done that. It doesn't use the word person. If it had used the word person, which is what the Constitution uses, I don't think it would have passed. But it uses language which, if interpreted by the courts to mean person, could completely dislodge Roe versus Wade and cause us to re-examine whether or not the Constitution even allows abortion. So now we, we, move the ball, we move the line forward and the issue backs up, the debate backs up. Yes, I predict that someone will challenge, not this statute, but someone will challenge Roe versus Wade the seminal abortion case, January 1973, that which legalized abortion, on the basis of this statute and saying, hey, wait a minute, Roe versus Wade says if the fetus is a person, there can be no abortion. And this statute seems to, without using the word person, define the fetus as a person. Certainly defines the fetus as a living human being. Well, that that certainly changes things. Uh, those who are those who are against abortion are go are going to feel this is a victory. Those who are for women's rights are going to feel that this is something quite different from a victory. And you would suspect at least that this is going to get people all riled up again. It will. And this definition of the fetus as a living human being is what uh, Senator Feinstein, Senator Boxer, and many people who feel this is going too far attempted to get out yesterday. It lost by you ready for this. 50 to 49. And then the statute, of course, uh, passed by 68 to 30. How long a process might this be? How, how long would a challenge and a revisit and all the rest potentially take? Could it happen quickly? Uh, it could happen in, I would think, uh, 9 to 15 months, but probably not any sooner than that. So probably not before, let's say, November. No, not before November. I see. But this will be on the voters' minds. George Bush in favor of it, John Kerry against it. Looking ahead with thoughts of Supreme Courts, I'm guessing. Absolutely, A Shep. lot of voters. Judge, good to see you. Have a good weekend. You too. Coming up from studio. Ah, oh, weekend. Man, it's so close, isn't it? <laughs> the Peacock Network getting lots of mileage out of Donald Trump, of course. The Apprentice drawing huge numbers of viewers. Now NBC's planning to air, to air two hours or two news special hours about the show. But is reality TV really newsworthy? We certainly do a lot on it here, don't we? We'll talk about the line there. And a new tactic for terrorists in the Middle East. Think of this, Palestinians using waterways to launch attacks. We'll get live details coming up from our newsroom in Jerusalem, plus a traffic nightmare. A major road shut down, forcing commuters to look for alternative routes, and local authorities saying don't expect things to get back to normal anytime soon. That roadblock, plus continuing coverage of the fires in Virginia on Studio B. Jane Skinner's in the wings. Stay with us.